Hey guys, Joshua here, Mayberry Man, as many of you guys know me from my geocaching channel. Some of you guys may be wondering why in the world for geocaching am I called Mayberry Man? That is because I have a fascination with the old Andy Griffith show and I just thought it would be appropriate to make a video to talk a little bit about Andy Griffith who actually passed away this past weekend. The Andy Griffith show is arguably the best television show of all time even if you're younger and I'm actually a, a little too young I was born in 1977 so I grew up watching the reruns and it is probably for me one of the best shows ever and so that's why my name is Mayberry Man and so as a tribute to Andy Griffith I thought I would share with some of you guys my Andy Griffith show collection I actually have quite a bit of memorabilia I've been to actually one uh, convention. Someday I'd love to go down to Mount Erie, North Carolina to Andy Griffith's hometown and go to Mayberry Days. Uh, so that is on my bucket list. But tonight I want to show you guys some of my Andy Griffith show a collection. Alright, so the first thing I want to show you guys is a uniform that I had put together. This is an official Barney Fife uniform, but here it is right there. And uh, you can see um, I have the, the nice Mayberry patch right there. Deputy Mayberry patch and then the the deputy badge from a Mayberry. So that's pretty cool here. I really love this one. This is Don Knotts and, and Betty Lynn. Uh, of course, Barney Fife and Thelma Lou autograph picture. I love this picture of them. Uh, I think it's really funny. And sure enough, there's their autographs. I also have some old TV guides of the Andy Griffith show from when it was originally on. So there's, there they are here. Opie and Andy and Barney. There's another great picture of Andy, Andy again, Andy and Helen, and then there's a kind of a artwork version of Gomer, Barney, and Andy. Uh, they also put out these Andy Griffith Show uh, playing cards. I believe they put these out actually in the 90s, and these aren't actually even opened. Here's a non-TV guide one of Opie and uh, Andy. Look at there's an owl on his shoulder. <laughs> It's kind of interesting. Uh, inside this inside this TV guide, there was actually an ad in here. This is kind of rare, I think. Um, it's a Sanka ad right there. And so, Andrew Griffith and Don Knotts, the put-up job. And it's all about Sanka Coffee. If you didn't know, Sanka Coffee was one of the major sponsors of the Andy Griffith Show while it was on. Educational, there you go. I think it was last month that George Lindsay Goober actually passed away and I had the opportunity to meet him as well. Here is a picture of Jim Lindsay. Hey Joshua, George Goober Lindsay. So that was really cool. Two years ago it was the 50th anniversary of the Andy Griffith Show so here's some 50th anniversary artwork that I have on my wall. Back, uh, I don't remember what year it was, I went to an Andrew Griffith Show event in Newcastle, Indiana. It was called Mayberry in the Midwest and these were the stars uh, that were there. And of course some tins there. Uh, in the corner here I have um, I have all of the shows there on DVD of course. A couple fun things. The Andrew Griffith Show Mania uh, Trivia Game from TV Land. Salt and Pepper Shaker. This is actually a Barney salt and pepper shaker. And then I got, of course, here's a, here's a Barney uh, bobblehead doll. I think these were giveaways at minor league uh, baseball games. And here's the old Andy Griffith Show trivia game right there. That one came out a while earlier. These just re recently came out. This is the Andy Griffith Show ornament. And it actually plays the theme song. Um, I've got a couple Andy Griffith Show Bible studies. These are actually on v VHS. See, I got a couple doubles of this one. Andy Griffith Show books. This next item is probably one of my favorite items, and that's a bobblehead doll of Barney with his motorcycle and sidecar. Bobblehead doll. Um, and there it is. It's a da another David Browning. David Browning is an impersonator who made appearances at baseball games down in the south. And this was actually sponsored by Coke. Here's the Mayberry Monopoly game. Um, I haven't opened it yet. But uh, I really like that. All right, let's go over to this corner over here. All right, oh, this is just some just nice artwork over there. The switch plates right there. I got my Barney Fife. Not much gets by him. Bloodhound of the law. Sniffing out crime one step at a time. All right, I also have some uh, artwork on the walls here. This is a drawing of Barney. 
And lots of tin signs. Bloodhound of the Law. There. This is probably the most famous tin out there. Most A lot of people have this. Fife Security Agency. Ampy's Kitchen. And Master of the Big House. That one's a little bit newer. All right, now are a couple of my really favorite uh, pieces of artwork. This is a Barney Fife one. There we go. Lots of scenes of Barney. This is Barney when he's on stakeout and when he gets stretched. And uh, very good. There's the whole piece right there. This one I really love. It's the it's the downtown of Mayberry. So you got Barney and Aunt B and Andy and there's Floyd and Gomer. And there's the goat, the loaded goat, and of course Otis, and the Darlin family. And if I back up, you can see the whole town. I love that one. All right, there's a sign, Barney, Fife, Boulevard. Okay, now uh, I got quite a few other autographs here that I'd like to show you too. Uh, right here we got one of Ron Howard. So a nice picture of Aunt B and Ron Howard, and the autograph is down here, all the best. Uh, newspaper, uh, fake newspaper cover, Deputy Five Hero and Cave Rescue, if you remember that episode. And I got a bunch of other autographs up here. I got to meet several of some of the characters. You see that? That's uh, Jim Lindsay, known as James Best, who is best known for being Roscoe P. Coltrane from the old Dukes of Hazard show. Autograph of uh, Johnny Paul Jason, sorry for the reflection. Uh, Opie's friend. And here we go. This is Charlene Darlin, uh, played by Maggie Peterson. Uh, she was very nice. She said, To Joshua from Maggie Peterson, Charlene Darlin. And then she wrote, Keep singing, you are great. A little story about that. I was at Maybury in the Midwest and we were doing karaoke and I got to dedicate a song to Thelma Lou and Charlene Darlin. That was cool. The, of course, the Dillards, which is the Darlin family, right here. Eleanor Donahue from uh, Fathers Knows Best, but she was also played Ellie Walker on the first couple seasons at the Andy Griffith Show, and she was uh, she was very very nice. One more thing I'd like to show you is um, I don't know if you know what this is, but there that painting is called the Anglis. That picture on the Andy Griffith Show is hanging over Andy Taylor's fireplace, and so that's kind of an Andy Griffith thing too. I think I found it at a thrift store. Kind of cool. I have a lot of other things, but I thought I'd just show you around the room. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, just really appreciate the Andy Griffith Show, and of course, Andy. So here's to you, Andy. All right, one final thing to say, and that's nip it in the bud. <laughs> See you later.